Hi and welcome to this key learning initiative video. Today's topic is scales and we're going to be looking at both number and bar scales. Before we get going please like and share this video and hit the subscribe button then when I release more content you'll be the first to know. But let's get going with today's topic. As we get going we need to look at a few definitions. Firstly a map is a visual representation of a geographical area. That's what a map is. Another important definition is the scale, what we're actually working with. And the scale of the map is what tells us precisely how much smaller the map is than the actual area of land. There's two types of scales. As we said at the beginning, we have a number scale, which is in a ratio, and we have a bar scale and we're going to look at both of these so the number scale now two very important things firstly a number scale is written in a ratio format for example 1 to 200 this means that the picture on the plan is 200 times smaller than the actual size of the object the second thing is that there are no units all right there's no units because the relationship in size between the original and the scaled object remains the same in other words one millimeter on the plan is 200 millimeters in actual length or one centimeter on the plan is 200 centimeters in actual all right so it doesn't matter what unit it is as long as you use the same unit so let's do some examples and for our examples we're using a scale of 1 to 300 let's look at example 1 calculate the actual ground distance in meters if the map distance is 7,8 centimeters so how do we do this well first of all we write down the scale so it's 1 to 300 then we've got to remember that the first number represents the distance on the map and the second number is the actual distance in the real world or the ground distance so one unit in the map is 300 in the actual so when they give us a map distance and we want the actual we're going from left to right and then we're multiplying something to remember when they give us the map and they want the actual were multiply by the scale in this question it's 7,8 centimeters so we take 7,8 and we times it by 300 and this gives us 2,340 centimeters now we're almost finished but the question asks us to answer in meters and so we have to change from centimeters to meters how do we do that? Hopefully you can remember we divide by 100. In other words, we have 23,4 meters. So 7,8 centimeters on the map is 23,4 meters. Let's look at example 2. Calculate the map distance in millimeters if the ground distance is 0 0,05 kilometers. How do we start off? We write down our scale. Then we remember that the number on the left is the map and the number on the right is the ground distance or the real world distance or the actual distance. Now in this question they've given us the actual distance and they want the map distance. So if we're going from actual to map we divide by our scale. Therefore if we have 0 0,05 kilometers we divide by 300 we divide by the actual and that gives us 0 comma and then four zeros 1666 etc 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 and again we're almost finished but this question wants the map distance in millimeters so how do we get from kilometers to millimeters 
hopefully you can remember that you times your kilometers by a million to get it to millimeters and so if I take 0 comma 0 0 0 0 1 6 6 6 etc times it by a million I get 16 comma 6 7 millimeters and that will be my distance on the actual map so let's look at bar scales now so what is a bar scale well here's a definition a bar scale is a picture that shows how far an actual distance will be when we take some measurements on a map. So let's look at our examples and see what we're talking about. Here we have a bar scale. It's a picture and it shows me distances. Now whenever we have a bar scale we have to translate it or make it into a number scale. And that requires a few steps, so follow with me carefully. First thing is, we need to take out a ruler and measure how far the 0 to 10 meters on the bar scale actually is on our ruler. In this example, you can see it's 2 centimeters. Okay, and therefore we know that 2 centimeters on our map is actually 10 meters. Now we need to simplify and get it to a number scale. So watch how we do that. 2 centimeters is 10 meters. Now we need to change it to the same units. You can change both to meters if you want, but it's normally easier to change it to the lower unit or the smaller unit. So we're going to change 10 meters into centimeters. And that means the two centimeters equals a thousand centimeters. The next thing we can do is we need to simplify it. We need to get one equals something. So if two centimeters equals a thousand centimeters, one centimeter will equal 500 centimeters. We divide both sides by two. Also, if you remember from the number scale, the units fall away and so we can then write our scale as 1 to 500. So remember, write it down what we've measured, get it to the same units and then drop the units and simplify. So when we use this bar scale on the left, our numerical scale, our number scale is actually 1 to 500. And now we can use this to answer some questions. Let's have a look. So, if we now measure 4.7 centimeters on our map, we can calculate how far the actual distance on the ground is. Hopefully you remember how to do this. So, we have 1 to 500. We've got our map distance and we want to go to the actual distance. So we've gone from left to right, which means we multiply. And that means we have 4,7 times 500. When we type that in our calculator, we get 2,350 centimeters. Now you can change that to meters or kilometers or whatever you need to according to the question. And there we have our bar scale. And that concludes our video on number and bar scales. So thank you for watching this key learning initiative video. Please guys, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to get much more content. Please like and share as you're able. And I will post more and more as I get a chance. I hope this has been really helpful.